Hey guys, and welcome back to my channel. Today, I want to talk to you about warranties for the main components of your solar system, the inverter warranties. We will talk Enphase, SMA, and Solar Edge. But if you would like for me to review other inverters, leave it in the comments down below. And also, let's thank today's sponsor first, the like and the subscribe button. Thanks to you, I am able to advance this channel, so your support is very, very appreciated. Now, getting back to the warranties. Clearly, most homeowners don't have the time to dive into those long papers, and really, they don't. So I'm doing this for you. Now, I will stamp the time to make it easier for you if, in case you're here to just listen to one of these products, and that's what you're interested in. Uh, I know this might be a little bit longer of a video for sure, but let's just dive right in. <laughs> so today we will look at three brands under these categories. Number one, main product warranty. Two, monitoring warranty. Three, labor warranty. Four, ability to transfer that warrant if you decide to sell your home. And lastly, what is hidden? What are they hiding from us and what we need to look out for? So let's start with Enphase first. <laughs> so as you know, Enphase is a leading microinverter manufacturer in the USA. They were founded in 2006 and two years later, they introduced the world's first microinverter. Their warranties are nicely put together on their website, but based on the most recent warranty sheet, you can see on top, easy to read table, and it shows main product covered in this warranty. So. Microinverter, this part is doing the main job. It sits right underneath your panel on the rooftop. And this one is covered under a 25 year warranty. Then we have the wall mounted equipment like the IQ gateway and the combiner products. And the gateway, sometimes people call it the envoy within the combiner box, the communication device. This part does all the communication and the monitoring for you. And all of these parts are listed as five years warranty. Now, what is subject to this warranty and what I found interesting? So page two, number one, you have to have your product registered within 45 days from the date of the first installation. So to keep an eye for you is to just make sure your installer provides you with monitoring access within 45 days. And I've heard stories of that taking a lot longer. So just make sure it's 45 days. We don't want to run any risks. Number two, you are the system owner and you are in this warranty pages considered as the covered owner. So if you do decide to sell your home, you will have to transfer the warranty to the new homeowner. Now here's the catch. You will have to pay for it. The warranty does not specify exactly how much the transfer is going to cost, but when searching online, I found on Enphase support group that it's around $199. So just keep that in mind. Next big point on page two is a statement that says that your system has to be continuously connected to internet, except where interrupted by causes outside of the owner's reasonable control. Now, I assume that would mean that there is an internet outage, something you can't control, right? But this part does suck here because if you change your Wi-Fi password, you will need to reconnect your monitoring to the new Wi-Fi information. Otherwise, your warranty seems to be void and that's a question mark. Uh, now, this part actually is hyper important because if you do change provider or change the password, let your installer know so they can reconnect the system for you. Out of the three companies today, Enphase is the only one that requires internet connectivity to uphold their warranty. So what happens if one of the microinverters stops working in the few years? Well, the overall process to getting a replacement unit is fairly simple. You must follow the procedures set up by Enphase online. Preferably, you just reach out to your in installer and they do this for you. Now, what happens if in 12 years, one or two of your microinverters stop working? Well, Enphase states that if they are unable to provide a replacement unit in a situation that they no longer produce one, that they will provide you with a refund equal to what you paid for the inverter minus the reasonable depreciation. I mean, I guess they will just send you a check, but pretty small, <laughs> to be honest with you. And also that will not really solve your issue. You will have a working panel, but no power will actually come from it. 
Now, what is not included in this warranty? So MFA states here that this limited warranty does not include cost of labor to replace the products. There is, however, a separate labor reimbursement form that I found online for installers for the duration of two years following the original installation. Now, this part, again, <laughs> sucks because, as you will see with other warranties, the labor reimbursement is not for the installers only, it's for the homeowner as well. So if your installer closed their door, you will be liable to cover the removal, reinstallation, and replacement of that unit when hiring a different company. Now, when we talk about the extended labor protection warranty, your installer can purchase it for your system. However, it looks like it's tied to the installer who purchases it. So it still does not help you if they go out of business. Most of the exclusions are pretty standard, but one exclusion made me stop for a moment and that was water. So like I was reading that <laughs> anything that have been subject to fire, water, biological, blah, 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 acts of nature. The water? You mean like rain? <laughs> the IQ microinverters are installed outside on the roof. The IQ combiner box tend to be installed next to your meter on the outside of your house. So I'm a little, I'm a little bit buckled by this point, how it cannot be subject to H2O. But other than that, I did not find anything else that would surprise me too much. Okay, so just to summarize it, microinverters are under 25 year warranty, but they have to be continuously connected to the internet. So in five years, if your Envoy stops working, make sure to get a new one so that your inverter warranty stays intact. Also, if you sell, if you sell your home, please, please make sure to transfer the warranty. Otherwise, the new homeowner get a system with no warranty, which would be really not cool on your end. So just be a good human. <laughs> Labor warranty is not included for homeowners, but if your installer is still in business, they should provide labor warranty on their end. And if you're using someone else, then you will have to be charged a little bit to get that fixed. So the only thing to look out here is that five-year warranty on the communication devices, which are necessary for the microinverter warranty to stay intact, and that weird water clause. I have to check with him face on that. <laughs> Unfortunately, since a lot of companies do crap work, I'm sorry for using this language, people are left alone and oftentimes they need to hire a different installer who can come out and replace their unit. So the labor warranty or lack of it is where most people complained. All right, so now let's review SMA. <laughs> So SMA was founded in 1981, so over 42 years ago, and they debuted the world with first serial produced string inverter 30 years ago. This is where I put a lot of my trust in because their product has actually lived through their warranty. SMA is a string inverter or a central inverter like Solar Edge or Fronius, and their warranty papers are easy to read as well. The standard term warranty is 10 years on the inverter, however, it can be extended to 20 years at some cost. Now, some installers may offer that extended warranty as part of the purchase as well, so make sure to ask or request that. Their product warranty covers the whole integrity of the system, so the monitoring part of the inverter is part of that same warranty. Since SMA is a string inverter, your installer will also have to add either rapid shutdown to your roof or power optimizers like Tygo. SMA also offers what is called Smart Connect. It's at a proactive monitoring that is free of charge and gives the homeowner and the installer an easy way to troubleshoot a system, sometimes without even a side visit. Now, there are instances that the monitoring will sense the error or fault in your unit and they will automatically ship the product to you or the installer without much of a process needed, which is really cool. So what happens if there is a fault in your unit? So like, I'm, like I mentioned, if you're signed up for Smart Connect, it's free, you should, or you probably already are, then SMA will just be able to diag diagnose the issue remotely and provide your installer with steps to take to resolve the issue. If the unit needs replacement, it'll be shipped to you or the installer at no cost with a return label to ship ship back that faulty unit. Now make sure to do that because if you don't or your installer doesn't, then they will charge you for like a new inverter. 
SMA will also pay the installer, now it has to be approved by them to fix the issue or replace the unit, and, they, and then they pay a fixed rebate to the company that replaces it. And that's a big plus for SMA because you don't need your system to be connected to the internet for SMA to uphold their warranty. And we've actually had a few instances out in the East Texas and SMA just asked us to provide them with electrical readings from the unit itself and then they provided a replacement without it being connected to internet. The only thing you lose when you don't have it hooked up to the internet is that system security with SMA monitoring it for you automatically and notifying you when issues come up. Now, when it comes to selling your home with your system, their warranty states that if the system remains in place, you can transfer their warranty to the new homeowner at no cost to you. Something important to note here is that if you do sell your home, make sure to let the new buyers know that they need to connect it to the internet in order to be able to monitor the system. It's pretty easy process, but they should call your installer to help with that setup. Okay, now what are their limitations and exclusions? So you can't just hire anyone to perform fixes to their system. If someone messes with it and they had no idea what they were doing, SMA might decline their replacement. Now, they have normal exclusions like flood and fire, but they do not mention water as one of the exclusions. So they also mention improper ventilation, which this one is actually important. It's like a computer. So you wanna make sure that you don't install it in like a hot attic or in an area with lack of airflow. Like you want it to be, the air should be circulating. Now this one is pretty good, I have to say. Okay, I really couldn't find much in those sheets to be honest with you so nothing bad so now let's move on to my last one of the day which is solar edge and solar edge is another leading string inverter manufacturer they started back in 2006 and they are well known for perfecting a dc power optimizers they are a very popular inverter and their solution is very comparable to emphase and sma which allows for module level monitoring and no christmas light effect bs when paired with power optimizers <laughs> Side note here, if someone is still selling you the Christmas light effect lie, please call them out on it. There's, there's just so much misinformation out there and honestly, it drives me bananas <laughs> when people still use this tactic to sell microinverters. It is not true. Okay, now back to Solar Edge. <laughs> Their warranty was honestly the shortest and easiest to read, I have to be honest with you. I did like the font much more too. Very straightforward, nothing hidden in the small print. Now, their main component warranty, the inverter, is 12 years. So very, very common. And, and I have to add something here. So USA is probably the only market that started the fashion of 20 plus year warranty on those electronics. Most of the world would warranty their inverters at five or 10 year periods of time. And those products should not be disqualified. For example, Solark has a 10 year warranty. It's a very good and a solid hybrid inverter. And the manufacturer knows how long those things live. Imagine buying a phone and, and it having a 25 year warranty. So I applaud Solark for not BSing anyone and simply giving a valid warranty term. So, but just like with SolarEdge, just like with SMA, you can extend your warranty to 20 or 25 years at some cost. And again, I suggest that you try to get your installer to have it included as part of the whole deal so you don't have to worry about that additional cost for the next 20 years. Now, if it's not included, you do have an option to extend it, but it is within a certain time, so don't wait until year five, get it done in the first year. Now, their optimizers are on a 25-year warranty and their communications equipment is covered under five-year warranty. This part is the part that I don't like, but Solar Edge, just like SMA, does not require your system to be connected to Wi-Fi to uphold their warranty, which is great. 
I've had many instances here in DFW area that homeowners would call us because they bought a home with a solar edge inverter, but it never actually worked or it stopped working and they didn't have any monitoring access. In this case, homeowner has to transfer the installer ownership to whoever will service the system. And with that being done, we were able to process the return, place the replace the unit and even set up the monitoring for the new homeowner. And then the re we returned the defective device back to Solar Edge. And on top of that, we were also reimbursed for the labor cost. Now it's not a lot, but it is still something. Now I searched for the exact amount for the homeowners, but I can't tell you I was really successful, like if it's a set amount, but the process is pretty easy. You just have to submit an RMA compensation form and Solar Edge will reimburse you after. I will actually include the link in the description below if that's something that you're looking for, the, the, the recompensation form. Now back to the transferability. Solar Edge allows you to transfer ownership to someone else and there is no cost associated with it. Points here for them. Now the interesting thing I found in Solar Edge and SMA warranty sheets is that they will obviously protect themselves against unreasonable claims such as tornadoes, floods, exposure to seawater, or lack of sufficient ventilation by neither SMA or Solar Edge included water as an exclusion. This part I really, really have to clarify with Emphase to understand why that would be even included. Another interesting thing that was included both by Solar Edge and SMA is that in the years, if they cannot provide you with the same unit, they will provide you with a replacement that will provide similar functionality, which means if your inverter installed on the side of your home or in your garage fails, then they will send you something that will make your system work again, which is the most important point. Now their clause also states that they can issue you a credit for the defective product and the amount of up to its value at the time the unit is broken, right? So not at the time that you, the value 12 years ago when you bought it, but today's value points for Solar Edge here again. All right, guys, to sum it all up, <laughs> most of the fine print was pretty standard for all three of these manufacturers. I would say that Solar Edge and SMA did have better terms for transferability, as well as no requirement to be connected to Wi-Fi. I cannot tell you how many people stop looking at their solar apps and don't even realize their monitoring is no longer connected. So make sure to have that checked on on your system if you do have Emphase, since they do require that for their warranty. And if you do have any issues with your system and your installer is useless, call the manufacturer, have them find someone local to you and help you. Even if your installer was bad, you still have good equipment that has good warranty on it, so just do some research and I am sure that you'll be able to have the system fixed. You, I mean, you've already spent that much money on it. You can also reach out to me and I can try to help you find someone local to help you with your system. I hope this video was very helpful to you. Please don't forget to subscribe and give this video a big like and I will see you in my next one.